Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Ragnarok here with part 9 of my Napoleon Total War France Army of the Revolution Let's Play. We're here in Northern Italy. We're going to push forward and continue with this campaign. While I do this, while I get started here, I'm just going to read a little bit more of Alan Schroem's biography of Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, we are focusing primarily on the third chapter a new alexander the great during this let's play so let's pick up where we had left off um I, I don't think we read any of this last episode i think it was the episode before that we had uh, read a little bit of this so where were we all right so acting quickly while napoleon and his main force were still along the corniche argentino reached montanet on april 9th 1796 catching the French off guard the next day and attacking them unsuccessfully at Mont Legino. Meanwhile, the same day, Bello reached Genoa and set off for Voltri, where he attacked the surprised La Harpe, who was forced to retreat to Savannah. At first, thrown off balance by this Austrian attack, which had anticipated his own offensive, Bonaparte ordered Messina and Aguero to set out at once to Montanet which they did during the night of April 10th and 11th. Argentinos, 2,000 men, suddenly found themselves in a disagreeable situation as dawn broke over the hills on the 11th. Greatly outnumbering their foe, the French launched a large-scale attack from both the front and the rear. With his position no longer tenable, Argento had no choice but to break out, which he did, fleeing northward up to Bormia, this big piano. Montanet thus marked Bonaparte's first battle and victory of the new campaign, and given the overall inordinate, inordinate weaknesses of his army, no transport, guns, munitions, money, or even shoes or boots, he had to win rapidly and decisively at the outset or face defeat and expulsion from Italy. Speed was essential, and he was determined to maintain the momentum Meanwhile, Boulot, having scattered the French along the coast at Voltri and learning of the minor defeat of Montanet, set out for Dago on the 12th. Napoleon was reassembling his troops around Karkar, assessing the changes in particular, in particular concentrating on Colli's Piedmonese, now deployed at Milesmo, and the Austrians gathering at Dago. Both these towns were of critical importance to the French, controlling as they did the two vital main routes through the hills leading to the open plains of, plains of Piedmont to the north, which in turn joined the plains of Lombardy. Boulot, therefore, had to stop the French then and there while they could still be easily contained. Bonaparte, on the other hand, was equally determined to defeat the Austrians and march north, ordering Aguero to head the French left wing and march on Milesmo. He gave Messina the French center with Dago as his objective, while La Harpe, forming the right wing, was directed to the heights overlooking Cairo, just south of Dago. They got off to a good start, La Harpe and Messina taking Dago from the Austrians on the 14th, only to lose their advantage by celebrating their victory prematurely, troops getting drunk and sacking the town. And that is how the, an Austrian commander found them on reaching Dago at 3 o'clock in the morning of the 15th after a forced march from Baltry. Messina, like many of his staff, was literally caught in bed with a village girl barely having time to grab his sword and boots before leaping through the window and bounding over the rear wall. He had left no pickets or outposts of any kind, and now he paid for it. Indeed, Dago was retaken on the 17th only with the arrival of a furious Napoleon Bonaparte. Thanks to Messina's ineptitude, the entire French schedule had been thrown out of kilter. Napoleon's plans for launching 24,000 men against Colley's 13,000 Piedmonese was delayed by at least two days, long enough for Colley to get wind of these events and to retreat from Siva. campaign that might have been concluded within, within a matter of weeks was now to extend many months. Nevertheless, with Siva secured, 
The plains of Piedmont now laid open before the French, who had thus escaped Bellot's trap. Looking beyond to the snow-covered Alps, Napoleon commented, Animal had to climb over them. We merely walked around them. Alright, I think that's a good place to stop for now. Right, yeah, so... <clears throat> my plan here for this battle is, well, we, we can only cross uh, these uh, these little fjords here. I think there's only two spots where we can cross. Here and over here. So... First priority is to shut down their artillery. However, uh, their cavalry may not allow us to do so, but... I think we're going to... Well, we've got the cavalry advantage here. And not to mention our cavalry does have the uh, the ranged attack. So I, I don't want to get these guys in combat just because they've, they've sustained casualties already. But... Uh, hmm. Anyway, we're just gonna leave the troops over here. I don't want get, I don't want them getting shot at the at by the the cannons while we sort of deal with the artillery. So I think that's the first priority. Just uh, see if we can get rid of the artillery without too many cavalry casualties. So just get over here and get to work. They moving. It looks like they're moving the artillery. Okay, that's perfect. Now the dragoons are what really scare me. Uh, these guys, the that doesn't say what unit this is. But anyway, I don't think I don't think we'll have any trouble. It's interesting that the balance of power going into the battle was I don't know it was. Probably around there, but now that we're in the battle, the balance of power is actually shifted quite a bit into our favor. Yeah, so these guys, if we can shoot them, that would be fantastic. We need to be careful here. If they set up these guns and start shooting at our cavalry, though, we, it could be a serious problem. It could make very short work of our cavalry. Let's move forward. I want you to take this out. Dude. I don't know why they didn't charge into us there. Ah oh, man, friendly fire. Friendly fucking fire. Ah, oh, Dios mio, get out of the way. Ah, oh, Dios mio, this poor unit. And yeah, the friendly fire in this game is very, very bad. However, uh, friendly fire in this era of warfare was kind of a big deal. Um, I, I mean, a lot of casualties in the Battle of Austerlitz were due to friendly fire. Um, I, I mean, I think it's friendly fire was very characteristic of this time period of warfare. Anyway, try and be more careful. Essentially, going to sacrifice this unit to get rid of the uh, the artillery there. Our men are running, sir. And we killed half of this unit here with our friendly fire. As we didn't wear them down more, the dragoons are going to be a big problem. We might have to bring over the, the next force of cavalry. I think the balance of power actually has shifted a little bit more towards the AI here. God. What the hell? Still being used to the controls. Ah, turn around. We can shoot them this time without killing any of our own troops. Ah, these guys aren't going to come back. That looks of things. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. We've got more militia here. Actually, three move up this way. 
start moving. Militia over here. Across the bridge. Or, well, it's not really a bridge. You guys can move across this well, we might need you. Alright, good job. So, one of their cavalry forces is down. I believe that's them there. In the dirt. Don't want to get too close to their main force, though. I feel like our militia... Um, what, what we'll want to do here is tie them down with our militia. And then swoop in with what's left of our cavalry. And try and hook flank them. We do need to deal with these dragoons, though. Bring these guys over. We can help out a little bit. You can always merge some of these cavalry as well after the battle. Well, we've covered quite a bit of ground, so our income is our income is going pretty good now. Fair bit coming in. Let's pick up the pace. Thing with you. Okay, if you're a little bit tired. Get over here. Just see, I mean, we might even be able to take this all out with just the cavalry. We'll sustain quite a few casualties. Already kind of uh, taking quite a few casualties. A little bit. How much ammunition? I still got a little bit of ammunition left. I think the best thing to do is just leave them on auto resolve or. Our resolve on fire at will and move them into range. Just try and make sure none of them are crossed over one another. I think that's the best way to avoid the friendly fire. Guys, turn around. No problem. Don't you just. Ah, damn it. Back. I want you to get involved with the line infantry just yet. I want you to deal with the dragoons. Turn around and shoot them. Let's get over here. Over. We should actually be able to. Attack them from both sides here. Come on, shoot. Where they get into position. Force shouldn't last too much longer. And they just seem content just to stand there. Works pretty well for us. Down to 29. And don't get involved with them. Guys over. Let the militia deal with the line infantry. Or at the very least, just keep them occupied. While we sweep in with the cavalry. So if this guy separates from the rest of them, I think... No, he's not going to. Get lined up. Start making our making our move. Let these guys get caught up as well. Balance of power still relatively even. Ah, damn it! Missed our opportunity there. Turn around and shoot him. Where are you going? Sometimes I wonder about you guys. Don't let them ex escape. One of 
Getting all bunched up though. The guy is. See if we can catch them, maybe. God damn it. We really don't want any of them to survive this battle so that we don't have to run them down after this. Alright, let's move to surround these guys with our infantry here. Uh, we've made it off the battlefield. The balance of power just shifted huge in our favor though with them leaving. That's good. Yeah, you can stay there. Enjoy your vantage point from the hill. Guy is active. Okay, so they're not. Guys are fresh. Good, good, good. Gosh, am I leaving you behind? Is that why? I'm in position there. Uh, this unit, I think I'm actually going to take him off the field. So, doesn't suffer any more casualties and one as well, I think. Alright, I think... Let's just get a, the attack going. Get the bayonets out. Charge them. And sweep in with the cavalry. Should uh, make short work of them, hopefully, anyway. Hopefully our numbers prevail here. The militia are obviously gonna suffer in, uh, in combat with the fusiliers of the line. Uh, much better quality troops, but with the cavalry support should be okay. If you crash into them. Our men are running Who's running? These guys are over here. He's pushing through. Get to them. Get in there and help out. We can get over here. Yeah, we are actually struggling quite a bit. Should have probably stayed in and just uh, exchange fire with them and skirmish, but anyway. Too late now. Already committed. Alright, we're one over here. Alright. Gotta be able to run them down. So I need to break these guys though. Should have maybe brought him over for moral support. Alright, I think we've almost got them. Glorious victories, huh? Run them down. And run them down. Run them down. Now the rest of you... You can cut them off. Alright, we're just gonna continue here for a moment. And see if we can finish some of them off. Where they escape. Gotten most of them. A couple guys going, ah, son of a bitch. It's these guys. How they're gonna escape. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Damn it to hell. Did suffer quite a bit of damage there on our poor militia, but I don't know, they're just militia. Post victory. Well, hmm. very least we've extinguished the main threat here, though we do have to finish them off. I'd like to get these guys into friendly territory and replenishment. He should get replenishment when he crosses over here. Yeah, a little bit of replenishment anyway. 
See if we can finish this force off. Ah, damn it. Alright, there we go. Hmm. I wonder if we should auto resolve this or if we should fight it manually. Okay, let's fight it quick and finish them off here. Only problem with taking him out of the army, I just hope he has enough movement to get back into the army because the army won't get replenishment if he's not standing in it. That was the only way we could do the actually do the attack though, is to take him out of the army like that. Alright, I think all up to the cavalry here to take them on. Come on, boys. Any time you want to get over here. Fusilier's could be a little bit of a problem. So we probably should make use of our militia since we've got them here. Just this unit. Just this unit. Somebody else coming in through the fog there. Probably have this on a faster speed. Wait, no, we got more units coming. Oh, son of a bitch. Put down. Round. What the hell? Paying attention here and what's happening. I should just get into combat with them. Should be able to win there. Glorious victories, huh? Good stuff. All right, boys, get over here. Let the militia deal with this. As the uh, cavalry suffered enough casualties as it is, we'll just let... However, in case some of them try and escape, you guys over there. Probably merge a couple of these militia units after this. Line these guys up here. Just any units that happen to and run off the field, we should be able to catch them. This is a shame. Innocent. Bit of a shooting gallery. Ah, damn it. Really wasn't expecting them to run off this way. He's not going to be able to catch them. Heroic victory, really? Alright, hopefully that's it. That we don't have to deal with them again. Okay, yeah, they did lose everything. Alright, good.
À gauche, marchez. Oh man, you got a tiny bit of movement left. In there, yes, perfect. Alright, sweet. Only thing is, these blokes over here, they're not gonna get any replenishment, but not the end of the world, I suppose. Alright, good stuff. Uh, gonna merge this group. Or those two. Cavalry, let's let them replenish for now. Won't merge them just yet. A look at the government. So, 3,200 next turn. That'll be a decent amount. We can start recruiting some... Hmm. What do we got for cannons right now? Alright, so what I might do... Probably recruit two six-pound guns. Give us a total of four six-pound guns. And then once... This is finished. We'll recruit three eight pound guns. So the eight pounders will stay with Napoleon. We'll have uh, four eight pounders in Napoleon's army and then four six pounders in Surrey's army. And then that should be plenty to deal with these guys. And yeah, yeah, I don't know. Things are going pretty good. Public order is not really, hasn't really been an issue in any of these provinces. Take a look quickly. All of our provinces. Yeah. And so I hear it's a little bit of a problem. But I think that's mainly because we just took it. Yeah, everywhere else, public order seems pretty good. Don't have to worry about it too much. These guys have not yet caused us trouble, so I'm going to try and push to Venice before the Papal States declare war on us. Um, we could move Napoleon here. Then we can hit Padua next turn. Actually, let's do that because he should still get more replenishment. I hope so anyway. Take a look at how much replenishment we're getting right now. Let's say. Lower replenishment rate, moderate replenishment rate. We'll move the fort. Uh, I don't think he's quite gonna make it in there. I don't. I don't know if it makes a difference if you're sitting inside the settlement. Well, anyway, in any case, should be within range to hit this next turn. We may get three. Six, nine. Ooh, that could actually give us. Damn, that might have been a mistake. Could give us a bit of a problem in the beat up state we're in. It always just withdraw if they do attack us. Wait and see. Anyway, I think we can hit the end turn here. These cavalry were in better shape, I would probably fight this, but I think as they're they're already damaged pretty badly. I think we'll just withdraw. Construction du campement. Hopefully he doesn't have enough movement to catch us. Ah, oh, looks like he does. I guess we're gonna have to fight it. Ah, bloody hell. Alright, let's see if we can pull off a miracle here. I mean, we do have the cavalry, which... is uh is pretty effective in taking out infantry so long as the infantry doesn't get into square formation um and they are on the attack so they should come at us 
Because we could set up an ambush. We could set up on this hill here. Probably. I think our two options are either set up on the hill or set up beside this forest and then leave the uh, ambush them cavalry once they they move towards us there is one of them one of them sit and the other one is not is that because this guy is the general ah oh, for fuck's sake I don't think we I don't think you can actually hide the general all right you stay over there I think this is what we're gonna try we're gonna see if they come at us I really don't like this uh, round. Alright, you stay over there. Just stay put in the forest here. Get ready to uh, come out. And I think we have one more unit coming out. They are coming down. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's Asking a lot for 36 cavalrymen to be able to take on four German Fusiliers of the line. Well, we'll see. We'll see how they do. I mean, we do have the militia as well, so. Get in any of these buildings. I was going to say we could take these houses. That might help us a little bit. Let's get over here as quickly as possible. The other thing we could do is try and take out their general, and that should... Should hurt their morale, though I don't know if it counts when it's just a regular unit. They separate, though, and come at us in pieces. They give us a better chance as well. Wait of a, a little bit closer to our line. Then shoot at our cavalry. Want these guys shooting while we go in for the attack. If we can actually distract them, pull them away that way. Almost in range. Yeah. Come on, a bit of a run around. Hopefully, they follow you. A little bit more. Yeah. Damn it to hell. Spotted the cavalry there. That is really not going to help our cause here. Fuck. Lost a lot of cavalry there in that volley. Our men are running, sir. All right, so one cavalry's down. Shooting. Did do a fair bit of damage to that unit, but still. Needed that cavalry to be able to take them out. Ah, fuck, we've got our lines crossed here.
Yeah, it's not looking good here, boys. Not looking good at all. holding our own here in this uh, this gunfight. I don't know how long this is gonna last. The friendly fire here on our cavalry as well. Crash into them. Oh, I suppose we were all always doomed to lose this, but heroic death. Our men are running, sir. Yeah. I feel like if our cavalry was a little bit in better shape there, and if I had, hadn't botched the ambush, maybe we would have had more of a chance, but oh well. At least we did a little bit of damage to them. Uh, Surya's army should be able to come in and mop this up. How these militia actually survived. Nope. Oh, I thought he was gonna move in. Hmm. Looks like they're thinking about moving out. Yeah, this attack here uh, might be a little bit too early to do that attack. We might need to take a little bit of uh, a little bit of time to replenish before salt this. I, I think we're outnumbered there. Because of the fact that we're in bad shape. Plus we don't have the cavalry support. Damn it, I really wanted to continue on the move. These guys behind our lines. All right. Monsieur, vos ordres. Wait. You here? Oui. En avant pour la couronne. Horses here. Okay, they don't actually have an army here. It's just the Venetians. Alright, I have an idea. Guys, move there. Move to there for now. Oh. Oh. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Not what I wanted to happen there. Damn it. Moved a little bit too close to him. I, I'm just gonna disband these two. Fuck it. Um. They're not going to be any use to us there. And we'll just get, we'll just replace them so easily. Replace the militia. Bring you over, and we'll do the attack and use the cavalry. The cavalry should be able to mop them up pretty easily. There. And then we should have enough movement to get the cavalry over to support. Oh, it's not giving us great odds. Here. I think just an all-out charge here. From both sides, if we can sort of pincer them. Get some horse sandwiches going here, I think. Ah, oh, we should be fine. Reinforcements should come in behind them as well. Back up for a moment. Wait for the reinforcements to show up before we engage them. Here you 
guys are coming in over here. Alright. This out of the fucking way. Let's come up on this hill here. I mean, the ideal situation is to actually get them to separate and then deal with each unit one by one. No, we're going to be able to pull that off. But. Actually, that unit. Down here. That up. Rains a little bit. Uneven there. Careful while they're in the trees. his attention. Otherwise, just and smash through them. So this is kind of this is extremely risky though because I mean this is our whole cavalry right here. I mean who's our cavalry uh fighting these guys then? Be in a little bit of trouble. This way. It. Seem to want to follow us. One kill in that volley. Come on, coming. Ah, damn it! All right, I don't think this is gonna work. So what we're gonna have to do just charge in on each side. And I hope that we can hope that we can break them. And make sure everybody's on LA mode. off as we as we did the charge there so just hope that ah son of a bitch these guys are in square formation it's absolutely what we didn't want to happen right, we need to get out of there come down and help with this i think we are winning though Hard to tell in the trees here. This fucker's in square. Enemy general's killed. Good. Our men are running, sir. Come on. Alright. Charge back into them. They're charging uphill, but still. Oh, come on. Move. One here. I'm just send somebody over to help with this. Get this guy pinned. God damn it. It looks like we're gonna win, but not by a very large margin. And our cavalry now is 
Ugh. In bad shape to get over there and help out. Because running these guys down. I won't have to deal with them again. It's okay, we'll be able to we'll be able to replace the cavalry anyway. For a moment, ah, damn it! Lost control of them. Oh, we really took a beating here. Need to finish these guys off completely. I'll we'll have to see them again. Ah, fucking hell. Taping up there. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Ah, they don't need to rest, what are you talking about? The oh, men we're gonna are catch fatigued, them. sir, and must rest a while. Our other unit. Damn it. One of them escaped. Son of a bitch. Yeah, we, we really, really took a lot of damage there. Yeah, I'm gonna merge this unit with merge these two. So that really hurt our movement. We're not gonna be able to support here. Fuck. That's not good. Couldn't have done that. I think we have to fight this again. I uh, not sure how the auto resolve would be there. I'm just a little bit worried that Surya's force might not be able to handle taking the settlement now without the cavalry support. Maybe I've overextended us a bit. Wait for the reinforcements. Take a moment here. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Glorious victory, sir! There is. Let's run them all down here. Have to deal with this again. Calvary is in even worse shape now. I don't think these guys will be bothering us again. La vertu et la valeur en avant. Oui, monsieur. Préparez-vous. Prêt à recevoir vos ordres. En avant. Prêt. 
Well, see what the odds are here. In the infantry. Hmm. Send them to port. Yeah, I screwed up the movement there. We, we probably could have got the cavalry over here. Only thing I'm worried about, really. Take a look. Just these. These artillery. Though the other thing is, too, the, the armed citizenry, like, oh, will actually give our militia a little bit of a problem. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I think we're going to deal with this situation next time. Uh, we'll have to bring this militia down here. We might just continue the siege for one turn. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we should just go for it. Or if we should just wait for the cavalry support. Even though the cavalry <laughs> cavalry is in extremely bad shape. It would make all the difference in the world in this fight. Uh, the other option would be how we could potentially isolate this force and take it out first, which is probably what I'll do in either case. Well, let's actually just bring you down here too. What are we doing for time? Yeah, we're just almost at the hour mark. I think what we'll do is we'll take one of these guys out and we'll attack this army and then that way we can isolate it uh, from the rest of these guys and then maybe we can we'll even be able to demand the set surrender uh, these 12 pound guns could be a big bloody problem but uh, especially with no cavalry to take them out but we'll figure it out I, I think I think we'll be able to get in there, and then worst case scenario, we could just continue the siege. If it doesn't look like it's going to be a possibility to take out the gun here, then we'll just continue the siege and wait for the cavalry the following turn. I think Napoleon will probably park him here for now, or pull him back to Verona for the time being, because I think this is just too much force for his battered army at the moment. We'll let this army replenish. And we're getting decent income now. So I think it's time to just take a deep breath. Rebuild. And just see if we can push Austria out of here. We might have actually been a better option to go north there with Napoleon rather than head for Venice. i just really trying to get to Venice before, before the Papal States declare war on us. Uh, which is almost a certainty, but I mean, we don't have a ton of map to conquer still. Uh, there's still a fair bit, I guess, actually, if you count all this stuff down here. But I, I think we're in pretty good shape. I mean, we've only early November, and we've got a full on year after this. So I think we, we are in very good shape, but we need to get the armies replenished a little bit and need to get more artillery and <laughs> we're gonna have to replace the cavalry now as well anyway i think that's enough for today guys thank you very much for watching thank you for the continued support connor if you're still watching thanks for watching i will uh see you guys next time um i think it's episode 10 have a great day ragnarok signing out